to the guy in blue down there.
send out, you know, to parents or for something folks to watch it, is I would uh, just send out that. Is that link? Yep. Um, what is it again? Uh, podcast, just, I don't even know, Simmy Girls. Simmy Girls Hotcast. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Simmy Girls. Well, that's what's probably going to happen. So I'm just keeping out the information right now.
guys over there. They're on the, yeah, you gotta go to the Simley Girls Hockey.
Okay, Packer fans, you won't be watching this live. I'll try to record this and then upload it later this evening or tomorrow to our YouTube channel. There is no internet available in the arena, so we're unable to Facebook or YouTube this live. I, I take that back. There was some internet available for the home team. They have a hardwired connection across the arena here on the on the other side of the stands. So they're able to YouTube it, but their Wi-Fi does not work in the arena. So we're going to have to post this later. I'm sorry for everybody not getting it live, but we'll try to get it to you later. I was uh, putzing around with the connections for a while, so I wasn't recording at all. Now we'll start recording and throw this on later and I'll start talking a little bit about the game. But anyhow, what you've missed, it's a 1-1 game. South St. Paul scored first, took, a, took an early lead, and then there was a somewhat of a controversial goal uh, by Simley where, anyhow, that's how they got their goal. I didn't quite see it because I was working, I was working with the uh, camera. 
Anyhow, South St. Paul will go on their second power play of the evening. Simley able to clear that down. South St. Paul's going to have to go the length of the ice. South St. Paul skates out of their zone. They lose the puck. They gain it back. Now they get it. They tried to throw it deep, but they couldn't do it. South St. Paul's got to control the puck here and get it in the zone. South St. Paul trying to clear it up into the neutral zone. Fanned on that pass. Now they have it. Now they're going to lose it right out in front of the net. Now South St. Paul looking like they're on the penalty kill. Not doing a good job of controlling the puck right now. They're going to change up that power play line, get somebody else out, out there. South St. Paul has it. Backhand pass into the neutral zone for somebody at near near center ice, but nobody was there. Molly Jeffrey plays it behind the net into the far corner. South St. Paul there, dangerous pass out front. We couldn't handle it. That pass was lingering out there for anybody. South St. Paul not doing anything on this power play. Simley really put, putting the four check pressure on, realizing that South St. Paul is having a hard time breaking out of their zone. No one taking control of the puck right now for the Packers. There's a backhand pass right out in front for Simley by a Packer. Puck's now behind the net. Comes into the near corner. Hey, South St. Paul finally able to get it out of their own zone, controlling it, and they're offsides. Packers carry it in. Power play has expired, so it's five on five. Oh, South St. Paul threw a wrister. I think that hit the pipe and came right back out. Good job by the pack. Getting that one on net. Ah, they just got it out of the zone. I'm still trying to figure out if I can get this streaming, so I'm not really paying much attention. I'll try to commentate, move the camera, and try to fix this, the live stream here. One last attempt. Danielson had it, tried to clear it in, looked like she kind of, the miss clearing attempt. Anyhow, South St. Paul gets it back. South St. Paul has it in the far corner. Battle for it, South St. Paul has it. They're still battling. Now there's, there's two Spartans and one Packer. Simley comes up with it. South St. Paul pinches at the point. They keep it in. A bunch of girls battling. Now South St. Paul comes up with it. They have it. They throw it to the point. That should have been a little bit harder get, trying to get it deep in the zone, but kind of handcuffed on that. Draw at center ice. South St. Paul won the draw. Couldn't quite control it though. Goes into the Simley zone. Now South St. Paul has it on the far boards. Gave it to Simley. Simley has it. They're going to throw up the length of the ice and that's going to be icing. So we're going to come all the way into the Simley zone for the faceoff. Yep, I, one more attempt to get the live stream going. It did not work. I think we're going to have to scratch it for the evening. What? Try. I just tried it again. didn't work. Should I just disconnect, take the phone off mobile hotspot? I wonder if I'm not put... What? Oh. I wonder if I'm not... Uh, Wonder if I'm not copying the right key in there.
failed attempt there to try to live stream didn't work. We're going to have to try to just upload it later. South St. Paul breaking out of the zone now. They'll dump it and they're going to make a change. So they dump it down deep. They'll give chase. South St. Paul keeping it in the zone. There's Brooklyn Fishbach able to get it back down again. South St. Paul doing a good job of keeping it in the zone at times, and then at other times they can't keep it in very well. Ooh, South St. Paul almost gave up a breakaway there. Good effort to fight and get back in it right at the end of the second period. I think that was maybe Older King fighting back to prevent that, that uh, breakaway, and it was Older King doesn't look like oh we are going to get the Zamboni good so I'm mean, that'll give me a chance to play around with uh, the stream and see if we can get something going okay folks here we go we're going to have the drop of the puck for the start of the third period in the South St. Paul Simley JV game I'll give you a look at the scoreboard there it is that's where we're sitting and everything we're in a pretty back and forth game pretty good game for both teams I think last contest um, we lost to Simley and at the JV level, varsity won, but I think the JV level team lost. So Simley able to get the puck into the South St. Paul zone. They control it in the far corner. South St. Paul there, someone falls for South St. Paul. They might be right on top of the puck. They were for a second. Simley has it, they'll throw it back to the point. The point lets a wrister go. That hit traffic out front, didn't get through to the net. Simley's there to throw it back to the D. Now there's a shot on net. That looked like they were trying to get a tip. South St. Paul better start hustling a little bit, getting to the loose pucks. Now South St. Paul gets control of it. There's a nice long pass. Didn't connect over from Danielson to Felton, just missed it. Simley has it. Take it in the far corner, now South St. Paul has it. Battling in the far boards with it. South St. Paul comes out with it. Danielson looking to throw it deep and she does get it deep. She gets tangled up with somebody. Can't get up, she got up a little bit slow. South St. Paul at the point, they keep it in. Gets Oler King, took somebody out when she went down. Bodies flying all over out there. South St. Paul keeping it at the point. That's Jozak. Now South St. Paul at Stangle out in front. Let's a wrister fly. Hits the goalie right in the chest protector. South St. Paul trying to keep it in. They did for a second. Now the comes out of the zone. Fishbach is there and she'll throw it into the zone and the Packers will give chase. Simley had it, trying to get it out of the zone. Still can't get it. There's Fishbach getting a point blank shot right out in front. Oh, what about that whistle? They kind of blew it quick. The puck was still floating around. So they don't blow the whistle. They get a goal on Molly for not blowing the whistle right away. Then they blow the whistle early right there and the puck is still loose. 
Face off to the right of the goaltender. Simley's able to grab it and throw it out into the neutral zone. Now they'll get it, they'll skate it across the blue line. They're in the far corner. There's a battle, there's a couple players for each team there. Some South St. Paul people aren't happy with the, with the officiating so far. Simley getting away with a lot of, a lot of body work right now. Here we go, South St. Paul has it on the near boards. Nice pass to the center. Comes out of the zone at Stengel. She loses control of the puck a little bit. Has to be chased over by the far board. Simley gets there first and throws it right back in the South St. Paul zone. Battle in the near corner. Puck goes behind the net into the far corner. Both teams doing battle for it. Comes in the far boards. So St. Paul had it, lost it, gave it right back to Simley. Simley able to throw it in. Now we have now we have uh, a tussle in front of the South St. Paul net. Looks like there's going to be coincidental minors. So we'll still have five on five hockey. That's Stengel and 16 for the Spartans. Now well, just adding to the whole unhappiness of the fans with the game right now. So we'll get a face off to the left of Molly Jeffrey. 11.50 remaining in the third period. We got eight to seven in shots. So those are virtually even, a 1-1 score. There's the face off. South St. Paul controls the draw. They chip it up and out of the zone. They had it at neutral ice. We had a we had an advantage there, a one-man advantage, but we couldn't quite take advantage of that advantage. We had the odd man rush. It looked like a two-on-one rush, but then couldn't quite get a handle on the puck in time. And now Simley's able to chip it out of the zone. They're chasing it. South St. Paul there first, but Simley with a good hustle and a perseverance comes up with the puck. South St. Paul's got to start hustling a little bit more to these loose pucks. Simley throws it back to their point. They'll put a wrister on the net, but that's gets stopped by the South St. Paul defenseman out front. South St. Paul able to chip it out of the zone. They have it in neutral ice. They try to throw it deep. They're getting a line change. That'll enable Simley to throw it out to the South St. Paul blue line and dump it down deep. And now Simley changed up a couple players. There's a crazy hop off the boards almost right out in front of the net. Simley has it. They'll go to the point. Felton blocked that shot. She's given chase to it. She's got some wheels. Now Danielson with, with wheels is in the zone. Here comes Felton. She's going to get a wrister. I don't know if that got through to the net. South St. Paul goes to the point with it. Oh, oh no. Both South St. Paul girls thought the other girl was going to get it. That was a big mistake for the Packers there. We had two girls able to keep the puck in the zone. They both let it go. Simley girl picked it up and had a breakaway on Molly Jeffrey, and Molly comes up with a huge save. Now Simley has it in the South St. Paul zone. Comes back out, they're gonna have to regroup. South St. Paul skating hard. They can't give up on that puck. Someone's gotta attack the puck. Joe's rack goes into the corner, tying up the skater. South St. Paul gets it. I don't know. They threw it indiscriminately over the, to the far boards. And I don't know. I guess they waved that off. No icing there. Must have been right by a Simley player. South St. Paul caught a break. But Simley's going to break out anyways. And they'll get it the length of the ice. Now it's in the South St. Paul zone. Goes almost behind the net. Now into the far corner. There's South St. Paul. Chip pass off the boards. But that was to a South St. Paul player covered by a Simley player. Simley has it, they have it at the point. They look to throw it in front. That just goes through the crease, nobody there. South St. Paul able to chip it out. That's gonna be on net, so we're not gonna get an icing. That's gonna enable South St. Paul to change it up on lines. 
South St. Paul has it, that's Oler King changing direction. Nice job, she'll come around the net with it. Now she takes it in front, she still has the puck. Good bit of stick handling. She loses it, now we have it on the far boards. That's Felton. They got numbers, she's gonna get by the defense. She's behind the boards now, she's getting, ho! Oh! Oh! Right out in front now, there's the Packers. We got a couple shots there. Where's the hook? Jeez. And he got dragged down. You guys are bad. Yeah. It's on. You guys can all hear what I'm saying. Sorry. There's a face off to the left of the goaltender. Sorry for all of you at home, I'm gonna watch this later. I know I kinda shouted loud there. Long pass for Simley, they hit the girl streaking down the middle, able to get around the defense. Molly Jeffrey, great save, they can't get the rebound in. Jeffrey comes up huge again on the miscue by the Packers. A couple bodies are down, they're slow to get up for both teams. Simley had it again, threw it right by in front of the net. <laughs> so St. Paul got out of the zone. They're making a line change. They're late to get on the ice. This is going to give Simley a rush at the net. Simley has it in the far corner. They turn around. So St. Paul right there. That girl getting... Interference held up, she couldn't get to the puck. Simley getting away with a lot on the ice right now. I guess that's what happens when you're in the other team's building. Here comes Joswack, she's got a full head of steam. She got by the defense on the far board. She throws it out in front, nobody there for the Packers. They had a couple girls getting there, but a little bit late. Now comes to the point, here comes Buckin. She takes it in, that hits traffic out front. Where was the other one? You're horrible. Jeez. Did you see the other one? Boy. Some bad officiating out there, folks. Some bad officiating out there. So now we got a Simley power play. 6.26 remaining in the third. It's getting a little heated out there. Officials are losing control of the game. And Jeffrey's gonna cover that up right away. So again, we got some unhappy fans in the stands, including the announcer right now. So there's the draw to the right of Jeffrey. Goes to the point. They throw a wrister right on Jeffrey. She's able to steer that into the corner. Simply has it at the point. They throw another wrister. That's broken up by South St. Paul. Oh, it's great save by Molly Jeffrey. Got her pad out. I thought that had corner written all over it. South St. Paul able to clear it out now. They're able to get it all the way down, almost the length of the ice. South St. Paul has to come up with a big PK here. That was Felton pestering in the zone. Now she's got the puck. She's able to backhand it down and she's going off for a breather. South St. Paul gets some fresh skaters out there to kill off this penalty. There's a long pass. Yeah, and the fans are unhappy again. Hopefully we don't have these guys work in the varsity game or it might get ugly if this kind of calling continues. So, Simley has on the power play. They got it at the point. They're gonna get a little wrister on Jeffrey. She sees it, kind of a little snapshot there and able to glove it and get a face off. Well, a face off to the right of Molly Jeffrey. So there's 57 seconds remaining in the power play. There's the clock for you. 5.22 in the period. 
That's the third period. Simley racking up the shots. I know I think we have a little hometown clock keeping on the shot total too. South St. Paul trying to chip it out and they get it out. Let's see if South St. Paul can get aggressive here in the four check. Good job, South St. Paul got to get it on their stick. There's Felton getting it down deep. Let's go, she's chasing. She's going behind the net with the girl. Simley able to throw it on the far, far side for the wing. There's South St. Paul contesting. Now South St. Paul has it and will throw it the length of the ice. They got 19 seconds remaining in the power play. South St. Paul now 15 seconds away from killing this. He was, he was saying no again. That guy on the far side was saying no. They wanted to call it off. I don't know why they didn't. So that'll bring it all the way into the Simley zone. We got 10 seconds remaining in the power play. And that'll give them maybe one chance if they can win the draw and they might get one chance for one last rush, but we'll see here. So we got a draw to the left of the Simley goaltender. We got 435 remaining in the third period. 1-1 one, one game. 10 seconds remaining in the penalty to Bucken. There we go, big draw. Simley comes out with it, but South St. Paul has it. They'll throw it down deep, and that'll, that's gonna kill off the rest of that power play. Good job for the PK team for the pack. There's Joswak on the point. She's keeping it in. Nice job by Ruby Joswak. That's Stengel getting the shot on net. Ooh, that oh, looked like that was gonna find the five hole, but it didn't. So, we get another draw to the right of the Simley goaltender. 4-13 remaining in the third period. The South St. Paul fans are hungry for a little South St. Paul goal here. They think it'll be some justification for the, the officiating that's gone on so far in the third period. South St. Paul has it. They're trying to put it in in the corner, the goal. Goaltender had the post covered pretty well. Now we have it again, trying to stuff it, comes out front. South St. Paul able to get a stick on and poke it back into the corner. There's Fishbach with it. Sitting right behind her, she didn't see it. Joswak tried to help her out, point out where it was, and Joswak doing a great job of keeping the puck in the zone. Stingle, Fishbach are back battling. Now Stingle went in front of the net, looking for a centering pass. Simley has the puck, they're able to chip it out of the zone. Now they have it, it's one on one. Not able to get a shot off. Good job by South St. Paul. That's Fishbach getting it all the way down. Nice play by Brooklyn Fishbach. That'll give South St. Paul a line change. Here comes South St. Paul storming out. That long pass broken up by the South St. Paul defender. South St. Paul able to chip it out now. Now Simley takes it in the neutral zone. Now South St. Paul has it. Danielson has it, she's crafty with the puck. She had it around behind the net. Simley took it away. Older King able to keep it into the point. Now that uh, went over the top of her head. Oh, it's gonna. That puck rolled all the way to Molly Jeffrey on net. Pass up ahead for Felton. Felton able to get it down deep and that was for a line change. We got 234 remaining. In the, first, in the third period, sorry. Long pass ahead for Simley. Simley almost connected tape to tape, but South St. Paul was there to break that up. Now there's a battle on the far board. Puck goes behind the net. Simley there to pick it up, but there's South St. Paul putting the four check pressure on. Once again, there's the, oh, that was Bucken on the point, keeping it in. Good job by Bucken. Simley has it now, the nice long pass on the far wing. That's a little bit too far, they can't handle it. They go back to get it, South St. Paul's there first. They can push it along the boards. That puck came out, and that just got out past the blue line. So we're gonna get an offside call. We got 155 remaining in the third period. We got a 1-1 tie. There we go. Fans yelling for their Packers to finish strong. Keep the energy going. Simley wins the draw. They bring it right into the South St. Paul zone. 
which you could have seen if I had better camera work. Now there you go. So St. Paul had it, threw it, tried to get out of the zone, but threw it right to the point. Simley has it, they're gonna throw it in the corner. South St. Paul goes back to get it. Stingle now is able to go get the puck. She's able to skate it out of the zone. Here she comes. She's up the near boards. Good job, she didn't panic with the puck. That's a good job. She takes it all the way down into the near corner. There's Simley now threw it right out in front of the net. South St. Paul stepped up to intercept it. They'll keep it in the zone. Simley trying to break out on the near wing, but there's South St. Paul. South St. Paul racing on the far point to keep it in. Nice job by the Packers keeping it in. Oh, and there's Simley. Simley's gonna ice it. I won't even take you down there. So that's gonna be icing. We're gonna get a face-off in the Simley zone. We got 58 seconds remaining in this third period. We're all knotted up, 1-1. Shots are pretty even so far. It's not quite what the scoreboard says, but I think it's a lot more, a lot closer than what's up there. So here comes the draw to the left of the Simley goaltender. We got Danielson on the draw, and the referee doesn't like what he sees. I don't know, he had something to say to somebody down there. Danielson tried to take the draw right to the net. South St. Paul tried to turn it around. Uh-oh, it's a race to the puck now. Jeffrey came out wisely to play it. Nice play by Molly Jeffrey. Now they get it out of the zone, and here comes South St. Paul the other way. That's Felton along the far boards. She's able to get it down deep behind the net. Felton getting interfered with out in front of the net. Got taken down. South St. Paul missed an opportunity to keep it in the zone. We had 28 seconds remaining. Jeffrey plays the puck all the way around the near boards. Now here comes South St. Paul back out. Here comes Danielson. Try to get it out front. Danielson has it behind the net. Throwing it right out front for Felton. Couldn't get a stick on it. The South St. Paul backhands it. There it is. Oh! They throw it to the point. They're going to get one last shot here. We're gonna run. There's the shot right on net. Oh! What a game by the South St. Paul Packers. They were playing five skaters for Simley and the officials there for a while. Oh my gosh. Horrible officiating in my opinion. But there it is, guys. There's, uh, we might, looks like they may want to play overtime. We're, since we got a little bit of time to, to spare here, we're gonna play an overtime period. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this since we're not live streaming. I'll pause it and we'll be back in a minute, folks. Let's go Packers! One more! Oh, don't tell me I didn't have, oh, I had this on. Okay, what? Not making excuses, but yeah, we're playing well. Oh yeah, I think we are, yep. Okay, folks, here we go. Start of the overtime period. We got a five minute overtime. It'll be sudden death, obviously. We're gonna face off at center ice. The goalies have switched, so the pack's going left to right. They'll be shooting at the right end of the screen. Simley controls the draw. They get it right in the South St. Paul zone. South St. Paul has it now, getting it out of the zone, and they do. Felton chasing, Felton fast, almost got to the puck first. Good job by Felton getting to the puck. Danielson tried to help her out. South St. Paul there. Good job by the pack. Good job by the pack keeping in. South St. Paul's tired. They got the, uh, I think Danielson and Felton both are tired. They got to get off the ice. That whole, that whole line just changed it up. South St. Paul now keeping the puck in the Simley zone. Simley goes behind the net with it. They'll try to throw it to the near wing off the boards. There's Bucken keeping it in for the pack. Oh, went right out front. That was deflected and just missed the corner of the net. So St. Paul has it. They're going to throw it right out front. That's going to get to the point. I think this is Bucken trying to keep it in. Yes, it's Bucken. Able to get it to the net. I mean, able to get it towards the net, but there was a Simley player there, and she grabbed it and threw it out of the zone, skated it out of the zone. So now South St. Paul has the puck. Here they go. It's Oler King, she gets slowed down. South St. Paul turns, trying to fire it at the net. They have it in the far corner, trying to make a move. Now South St. Paul has Bucken keeping it in the zone. 
She throws it at the net. Nobody there for South St. Paul. So Simley able to skate it out. I think they want a line change. At least the person skating the puck did. Jeffrey stops it. Simley there first. That centering attempt goes right through the crease. There's South St. Paul throwing it out of the zone there in the far boards now. Simley chips it in. South St. Paul there to scoop it up, turn it around right away. Up to Stengel. Stengel over for somebody and then we threw it a little bit too far for an icing so we'll come all the way back into the South St. Paul zone. I think they were looking to, looking to get a line change there and uh, uh, a couple more strides she might have been over the red line and center line could have tossed it down but a little premature anyhow so we have a face off in the South St. Paul zone. Lib. 2.54 remaining in the overtime. Puck goes behind the South St. Paul net. They'll ring it around the boards trying to get it out, but there was a defender there for Simley. Kept it in. That centering attempt kind of went through everybody. Simley able to get there quick. Try to keep it in. South St. Paul trying to chip it out. Now they do. South St. Paul able to get it out. Now they got a chase. Nice job by South St. Paul on the four check. Offsides, so that's going to come out just outside the blue line. So we got 2.18 remaining in the overtime period. We'll get a face off just outside the blue line. Good work by the pack. Got to stay aggressive now, out there, girls. Here we go. There's the face off. South St. Paul controls it. They're able to keep it out of the zone, but Simley right there, they'll toss it into the far corner. And everyone was going to go chase it. South St. Paul's there first. They throw it around the near boards. Now comes back behind the net again. South St. Paul has it, throws it over to the far wing. No one able to really get a control of the puck yet. It's kind of bouncing around. Now it's coming to the point. They're able to get a wrister. That shot went wide. They had a girl out in front for the tip, but they couldn't do it. Now there's another wrister. South St. Paul blocks that. That went right in on Jeffries. She tried to cover it up, but I think it went under her glove. There's South St. Paul trying to get out of the zone. They're having a hard time getting it out of the zone now. Puck's in the corner. South St. Paul ties it up. South St. Paul threw it right out to the point for Simley. Simley will go point to point. They'll throw it at the net. That hit some traffic. Now the puck is sitting somewhere under the goaltender. Good, good save by Molly Jeffrey. What do you know, they blew the whistle before they allowed him to keep slapping at it and getting it in. The refs are improving as the game goes on. That's what I like to see. Here we go. Face off to the left of Jeffrey. Got 110 remaining in the overtime. Big face off right here. They're able to draw it right back to their point man. They'll throw a centering pass. That was dangerous. I could hit some skates. Now they have it up front. They throw a wrister. I don't think any, any of that got through. Puck somewhere. South St. Paul able to chip it now. Tried to chip it off the board and out, but they couldn't do it. Jeffrey had to steer that one aside. Fans unhappy again about a no call. That's offsides. Oh, South St. Paul, they had time because it was offsides. Felton gets it for Packers and throws it the length of the ice. We've got 30 seconds remaining in the overtime. South St. Paul got to apply some forecheck pressure now. There was Bucken trying to keep it in at the point, couldn't do it. The puck goes down. Oler King's got to win the race. She's right there with somebody. That puck just squirted past. We got, I don't know what we got. We got some unhappy fans now. I don't blame them. I mean, there was stuff that didn't get called on the one side. Now we get this call and tempers are flaring. Well, we've got some. So we got a we got a timeout, Simley. So Simley's going to set up a play here. I'll sh we'll show you guys the scoreboard here. There's the scoreboard. 
All right, so we got a little bit of time here. I'm gonna, we'll stop the recording. We'll come back in a sec. Okay, folks, here we are. We have a face off to the right of Jeffrey. We got a power play for Simley. They get it, they throw it under the far corner. We only got 10 seconds left. South St. Paul looks like they might kill this off, and they do. There's only, what, two seconds, and that, that'll do it. Good job by the pack. They had to finish the last 20 seconds. One man down, and it's gonna end. Zero, or one, one, after an overtime period. There you have it, folks. We will, since we're not live streaming, we're gonna stop this stream here pretty quick, and then I'm not gonna start the next uploaded game until the face-off, so we won't bother with any of the warm-ups or anything. So it'll be a little bit different, so we will upload it uh, at the start of the varsity game. See you then.